Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and today we're going to be going over manual track. So what is manual track? Manual track is a way that you get around tracking objects when they go past occlusions, like this guy here. Now this screen is completely occluded by our bro as he walks in front, so we're going to actually just track this screen as normal by selecting the edges. And when we reach a problem, we're going to use manual track. We're going to align our surface to the screen because, again, the surface is what the track is doing. And in manual track, the surface becomes really important. Now, we're going to track this backwards really quickly. And then we're going to jump ahead in our shot using manual track. So we're going to move past our occlusion of the sky. But first, we're going to make a keyframe on one of these first frames jump past this guy, and now we're going to make another keyframe automatically using manual track. And look what happens. We're going to be able to animate between these two adjustments of the surface. Now normally everything inside of Mocha is a child of the track, until you use manual track, in which case it becomes a child of the surface, and we can hand animate the track. That's what manual track means. It's literally a hand animation. And as long as you follow the principles of animation, it should be fairly fast. Now all we have to do is finish tracking this shot, you can continue to track as normal even inside of the manual track tab. And we end up with something that looks really nice. But manual track isn't just for run-of-the-mill occlusions. You can also use it for things like screens closing. Or you can use it for things like screens turning sideways, where there's not enough information to track anymore, like in this shot where we have an arm move over this laptop as it turns sideways. There's not enough data to track anymore. We're going to track this screen as normal, like we always do, and we're going to align the surface like we do for every single screen that we track. Once I've got the surface tool aligned, that's going to be important because those are going to be my reference points for the manual track. We're going to track backwards because there's no occlusions here, and that's really simple. And then I'm going to drag my layer underneath my holdouts. Now I do this so that I can get as accurate a track as possible without having the arm interrupt my track. But as it turns sideways, there's still not enough information, so we have to switch to manual track. I simply make a keyframe, and then I continue to animate my surface tool, which is now driving the track in the exact same way that our previous example showed. Now, I'm just going to keep animating this as it moves off screen. And once I'm done animating these points, I'm actually going to go ahead and use the translation track to just get this off screen and have it match the movement better, because the more that Mocha does for me, the better my track looks. So that's how you do manual track. If you have any questions, please go to our website at www.imaginersystems.com.